Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources. And today I wanna to talk about how you can get free email hosting for your own domain. Now I'll be using Little Biz Domains and that is our domain hosting that we use. And um, obviously Little Biz Domains is ours. And we have set up .coms at 10.99 a year. Now we keep it at this price as long as we can. We just recently had to raise it from 9.99 to 10.99 because of the cost increase. So, but we keep this as cheap as possible. We're not making any money off of this. At least not yet, right? I mean, if theoretically maybe 10 cents, 15 cents, I don't know. Anyway, if you're interested and you need a .com, check out Little Biz Domains. Now, so everything I'm doing will be through here for the domain management, but let's first, before we get to that part, let's talk about Zoho. So the reason why I need to get an email provider is because I have moved my sites, well, not all of them, but some of them over to Cloudways. And Cloudways is a really good hosting platform, but it doesn't have built in email. Now you can pay for extra email on there and everything, but I didn't want the extra expense. Not only that, but Zoho is probably something that you should consider or, or other third parties, but we're going to be talking about Zoho is probably something you should consider anyway. And that's because you end up having, if let's say that you're on your a hosting and I was on SiteGround before and they have the email is integrated with it. And what could happen is that if something happens to your hosting, all of your emails are stuck there, right? Let's say that for whatever reason, your account gets shut down you forget to renew and you decide I don't want to go access it. I don't want to have to pay to get back into it. Well, everything's stuck there. But if you're, if you don't have your email there, it's on Zoho instead, your emails would keep working because that's through Zoho. I actually have a paid version of this as well for my main sites, but this is just a site that I'm just going to be using to um, redirect most people. It's called kimtips.com. You'll see that. And it's going to be one that I use in my marketing to kind of just quick direct people to, to places. So because of that, I really don't need a heavy duty or a lot of space. So this forever free plan is perfect. Now, if you're like, Hey, Kim, where is this? Let me show you real quick. When you come here to the Zoho page, you'll see where they say business email, personal email. So you select business email and say, sign up for free. It's not obvious on the page. You got to scroll down and select forever free plan. So sign up now. And then you put in your name and this used to be where you only had the option for a mobile number. At least that was what was for me. And now they have an email address. So I end up because for each of my sites, it's, a, it's, they're their own entities. They usually have a Gmail for them as well. So I use the Gmail to create the Zoho mail and I use the Gmail just to kind of connect it and have a backup for everything. But if you're like, Hey, I don't have a Gmail, then you can just use your mobile number and then you create your password and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll hit sign up. We'll, we'll come back after I've hit sign up. Okay. Okay. Now we're back. And what happened was once I entered that information, it sends you a, what they call it, an OTP one time password. And so it emailed that to me. I entered it and now I'm into here. So now I'm going to add an existing domain. So we're going to say add now, and it's going to be kimtips.com, and it's going to be Kim tips for now say add. Doo, doo, doo. So now this is the important part of email. Okay. Is that you need to go through the domain verification and, and all of the steps through here. So the first thing is I used to do this and, and I'll show you how this works, but what I used to do just one step at a time and wait for a long time. But I found out that I'm just don't have that kind of patience. So I'm going to copy this. And of course yours will be different probably. And I'm going to come in here. I'm in the DNS. So I'm in the DNS management and you can see, first of all, this, the a record is for where my site is hosted. So all of this needs to stay here because I am managing my DNS records through little biz domains, right? So here I'm going to say add and they wanted it to be a text record. So text and the host is going to be at, and again, this is just for little biz domains. This is how you do it on that. It's if you have something else, I don't know, you know, I'd have to look at it to see, but this is how you do it here. Now I'm going to change the TTL. You can leave it as one hour, but because I want, so, um, time to live is what TTL means. So I'm going to make custom and I know the lowest is 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes, right? So I say save. Now I could set a 10 minute timer and come back and usually it's fine. It can still take 24 to 48 hours, but usually it's fine. But instead I'm going to come back into here and I'm going to hit 
well, let's just click it. It's going to say it's, oh, it's already verified. So now, because it somehow verified that quickly, I'm going to change this to, um, I use Kim at for everything. So I'm going to kind of change this. I'm going to set the main one up as admin. It's not going to be something I use a lot, but I want to be able to get into it. So I don't know, maybe I'll set it up as Kim and then just make an admin later. I'm going to make it Kim C maybe. Kim C, Kim C is that same word? Anyway, create, I can probably change it later if I want to. I don't know who cares. It's not important at this point. This is not a huge deal. Don't email me there because I probably won't check it. Just for the record, join the Facebook group and ask questions there. All right. So now that I've got this set up, I can add more, but I'm going to come back and do that later. So I'm going to proceed to set up groups. I'm not going to set up groups. I'm going to proceed to DNS mapping. This is important, right? These are your MX records, your SPF and your DKIM. Not DKIM as in me, but DKIM. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our MX records back into our DNS records, right? So let's, you'll see what these are, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to have them all out. We're just going to copy them over. So we're going to say add MX and the first one, they're all going to be at for the host. And the first one's going to be points to, and there's a little copy and I have two screens. So I just go back and forth and the priority on the first one is 10. Same thing here. I'm going to do custom and 600. Again, this is not something you have to do on this. I just try to do this to make it faster for me, but it doesn't always guarantee it's going to work. And then points to, so I just go through and do one for each one of these. And all of these, this information comes right here, right? So we're leaving the at or leave it blank, depending on your hosting provider. You have the priorities listed and this is the address, right? So I'm getting that information. So point two is where I put the address and there's the priority right there. So then all I need to do is change if I want my time to live to change. And that's, you know, just copy the stuff over. It's really simple. I remember the first time I did this though, I was like, I had no idea what I was doing. And nobody back then they didn't have videos like this, right? They just walked you through the whole thing step by step because nobody want, everybody wanted you to pay for it. They're like, Oh, pay us, pay us. This is hard to do. In fact, all of these, if you do want to change your DNS records, you're going to, you're going to ruin your site. And it's like, no, I'm not. I've been doing this for years. So then on here, I could verify the MX records, but I'm going to skip to the SPF configuration. Say understood. I'm going to come back here right? I'm going to come back in here and change all of this later. So same thing. Here's the SPF records. So I'm going to add, and it tells me to do a text record. So text, this is still going to be at, I copy over the text value, which is exactly what it says. I'm going to change this again. I'll say save. Then I'm going to over here again, skip to DKIM configuration. I'm understood. Now this is a little bit different. So instead of it being the at sign, it's going to be, this is going to be the, the text name and this is the value, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say add text, and then I'm going to take the text name and put it in the host. And then I'm going to take the text value and stick it in the text value. I'm going to change this again, not something you have to do. And I'm going to say, so 3,600, let's, let's calculate that out. 3,600 seconds divided by 60 minutes. No, divided by 60 minutes. So that's 60 hours, right? So divided by 24. So yeah, it's going to take a couple of days. Wait, is it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a math major. <laughs> So anyway, so you go through, you add in that. So we've added in, in our DKIM, SPF, our MX records. We have our domain verification done. So basically what we need to do now is just wait for all these to propagate or go live, right? So time to live, 10 minutes. So I would set a 10 minute timer and we're actually gonna come back after 10 minutes, but I'm gonna pause that. Okay, and now it's been 10 minutes. So I actually hit this back button, just so you know, this is how I'm getting back there. So I can hit back and now I can verify all of these. Okay. So if they don't verify to begin with, I don't worry about it. As long as they're in there, eventually it will go through and I can come back in tomorrow or the next day if for anything that doesn't um, process. Right. So I'm going to hit verify. It's all done. So I'm going to proceed to SPF, do the same thing, do the same thing with DKIM. Okay. So once that's all verified, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. 
Okay, so everything for that is verified. And so now it lets you do data migration. I don't have any it's brand new, so I'm gonna skip it, proceed to mobile configuration. And I actually can put this on, you can put a mobile app on your phone. So I'm going to proceed to set up completion and then I can go check my inbox or go to the admin console, right? If I go to the admin console, let's get the tour. Why I just did that? I don't know. I can come back in here and I can see that, you know, it's kimtips.com. I have the one domain. That's what you get for free. And then you can always upgrade later. If you want to add more, you've got five emails that you can do. The first one is done. And yeah, so I mean, that's, that's pretty much everything. You're ready to send and receive emails now, even though the website's not set up. Pretty cool, huh? Right? So in the meantime, I've got my website set up. I'm gonna close this because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna go into Cloudways. And this is where I can finish setting everything up for Cloudways and go in there. So that's it for setting up email. If you are, if you have questions, if I went too fast over something, I feel like I should be showing you something. So let's go back to the admin console then. You know, if you have questions, if you, um, you can add more users right here, by the way, so I can come in here and add, let's see if I wanted to do an admin, I would probably still leave this as Kim, but I'm going to change this to, you know, admin or something. So I could you know, do a password and I can force them to change if I want to add somebody else to do it. Or if it's mine, since it's mine, I'm going to be logging in. I can uncheck that and then just keep my password, right? So this is really simple. It's very easy. I like that the the app when you come in, um, do, let's go to mail, 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 come on. Should have probably just told it to go in there in the first right place. The cheating way mail.zoho.com. And there we are. See, we've got some emails already in there. I always hate the if you want to walk through a list of stuff, that's fine. I've been through it so many times. It doesn't matter to me. You've got some welcome emails from there. You can send yourself emails and check it. You can receive. Now, the one thing I, that is drives me crazy about Zoho is that like Gmail, they have like a promotions tab in Gmail. You have a newsletter and a notification. Now it's pretty good about putting notifications and notifications. So like receipts, um, password stuff, you know, things like that will usually end up in notification. Sometimes it goes in your spam and you have to still train Zoho, but it'll, it'll come up and say, Oh, do you trust this and everything? So you can, it's really nice. It's a lot better than, than, um, Gmail in my opinion. But I will say that for some reason, there are some like on my little biz resources email, there are some people that cannot email me there. I don't know why I'm not blocking them. But like, there's people that I follow that I have to put in a Gmail account so I can get their information. I don't know if they're weeding it out or what, but it's interesting that that's the case. So this is, like I said, a way to do this for free. You can get, you can host your emails for free until you're ready to upgrade. And it's just it's a perfect way to get started. And again, I recommend this no matter what hosting you get, right? Because that way, if something happens, you still have access to your email. Not only that, but you don't have to then um, try to move it over to another hosting, right? So that is it for this one. I kept it under 20 minutes. So that's pretty good. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions. Did I miss something? I have my sister and I talk about this all the time. We have the curse of knowledge. So we tend to zoom over things or go over things fast. So I tried to keep it under an hour for you guys though. Pretty good, right? Well, anyway, so thanks for watching. And if you, again, if you have questions, you can post them in the comments. You can hop into the Facebook group. The links for those will be down below. Thanks again.